Welcome to my channel friends, this is Sonia here and if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe to Growing Craft. So today I have this wooden platter and I thought of doing some decoupage on this and I have this beautiful napkin which I got very recently and I was actually wondering on what to do on these wooden platters and I thought of doing some decoupage work. Now, whenever you have seen me doing decoupage, you have always seen me using different varieties of colors, experiment on the background with the white and shades and shimmer paints and loads of textures also. But this time I thought I should do something really simple, cute, elegant and which will be super easy for you all to try it out. So now you can see I have already started with trimming my paper and for uh, removing the design which I wanted, I am just dipping my paintbrush on uh, in a tub of water and I am just going to do the borderline and then very easily with my fingers I am going to remove the papers. Now this is one of the very easiest technique of uh, trimming off the designs from your decoupage napkins and they make your designs look really natural when you stick them on your pieces. If you want to do the fussy cutting work and if you are really 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 good at fussy cutting work you can definitely try that also but personally with decoupage I like doing it this way this works good for me. Now this is a really beautiful design which I really liked and before uh, removing the plies I just thought I'll give it a quick uh, heat gun dry so that the edges dry out really well and when your edges are really dry removing your plies become really easy and it's super fast so here at one go i could easily remove my plies and this is how my napkin looks i've already done a tutorial on uh, how to remove the plies and how actually uh, you why you need to have a uh, white color base and why is it really important to remove all the plies of your napkins before working on it so do check that video i am sharing that link down in the description box now i just removed the, some extra portions of the napkins which i thought was really extra and now i think this size look really good and I'm just straightening the edges. Usually when we use too much of water, the edges become crumbles a bit. That might give some wrinkles to your project. So that's the reason I feel that you can just smoothen your decoupage napkins with your fingers and they are good to go in your project. Now here I'm going to use my matte finish Mod Podge and I'm going to make sure that I apply generous amount of Mod Podge on my base. Now before uh, starting my uh, application of Mod Podge work, I'm just trying to see that how much area I need to cover it and I realized that I actually need to cover the complete area with my Mod Podge cause uh, my cutting is almost to the size of my uh, wooden log. Now this wooden log is size of approximately 4.5 to 5 inches and which is a quite good size for the coasters. I'm doing only one piece but if you want to have these uh, in a set you can definitely buy them in a set and then you can create varieties of coasters for your personal use for your home office and decor. Now these platters can be actually used for multi-purpose you can even use them as a tea light holder uh, just a decorative piece or center table piece and they look just really fab. Now my application of Mod Podge is done and it's time to stick my decoupage napkin and this is so beautiful, it is so amazing and as you can see that my image area is not really big but still I'm going to use my sponge dauber to stick this and I'm trying not to have too much of wrinkles on my uh, napkin and I'll try my level best that I have no wrinkles and no bubbles in this. And with my sponge dauber, I'm going to give it a really, really, really good press. And that is one of the very important steps. Once your decoupage napkins are securely sticked to your base, your 80% work is done because that is really important and the core step of this tutorial.
so my coaster has dried out completely but if you notice you can still see the white portion of my napkins that will sort it out don't worry but before that we are going to use my stamp and here i'm using a something new different stamp not new this is actually a very old one but new as i have been using only my script stamps and my uh, lots of previous videos so here i am just adding some of my background with the stamping and i'm using my carvel permanent ink pad and i'm going to make sure that i don't leave any empty spaces even in the napkin there were some of the fine uh, white uh, space which was really empty so i just uh, added some more stamping there and it's done so this is a very simple and a very easy and a very elegant project i'm not going to do too much of work cause at times less is more now it's time to add up my varnish and here i'm using my uh, water based varnish and i'm going to give good 3 4 coats of this now on screen i'm going to give only one coat of varnish and then i'm going to let it dry but once it dries out then i'm going to have good Three four coats of varnish, uh, so that I can actually use this product very uh, roughly and handily at my home, and especially when I have a daughter who is seven years old, having good coat of varnish really helps in the strength of your project. Now, as you can see, the moment I added my varnish to my project, the white color is completely gone, and when it dries out, it is not going to come up. So that's the best part of this project and I absolutely love it. Now when you actually see the coasters you feel that the butterflies are painted, the stamping work is something written on it and it looks fab. So with this my project is done and I'm listing down all the supplies down in the description box. Please do check that and if you have any queries please leave it to comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Thank you so 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 much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Take care bye bye.